In August of 2023, research was conducted by Monica Moner that found that the amount of teen depression suicide cases have, have increased in recent years due to unrealistic social standards set by one's peers. As an example, Monica stated, so you just grew up with everything having to be. Everything just has to look perfect on the outside. I think many girls have problems following girls on social media who just look perfect and maybe with a certain body type or a certain lifestyle. Then you assume that it is the ideal you should fit into, even though you might not have any ability to fit into that ideal. In a world where social standards are so prevalent, the negative effects have been seen by many groups with many differing, differentiating aspects. Many of these expectations result in the worsening of mental health and self-confidence. Good morning, or good af afternoon. My name is Adelaide Beard, and I will be detailing the effects of social outcasting and the pressures to meet set expectations. To define social outcasting, Colin Dictionary stated, an outcast is someone who is not accepted by a group of people or by society. Whether they, not accept, whether they are not accepted due to different opinions, looks, or actions, the existence of social outcasting can be seen in today's world. My research question states, to what extent do the effects of social outcasting and the pressures to meet said social expectations affect the mental health of individuals? And to respond, my thesis states, the effects of social outcasting affect LGBTQ plus community, religions other than Christianity, and those struggling with their mental health due to the pressures to meet set expectations, set social expectations and to fit in with one's peers. Regarding the attitude towards the LGBTQ plus community specifically, my first claim states the effects include worsening mental health and more. A quote from Henrique Pereira from Aging and Mental Health states, the study, study's findings demonstrate that although mental health and stigma exposure levels are generally acceptable, um, a considerable percentage of participants have thought or have tried to commit suicide. With self-identifying gay men demonstrating higher scores for depression and sexual stigma exposure symptoms than bisexual men. A concerning amount of those involved in the LGBTQ plus community suffer from poor mental health and the feeling of being lost. According to this chart from the Pew Research Center, 16 out of the 58 attacks that occurred in 2021 to the LGBTQ plus community were due to the opinions that people hold and unwilling to change them. The stimulus source through the tunnel by Doris Lessing shows how a young boy looked at a crowd and wanted to be a part of it more than anything. It is prevalent that those who feel like outsiders only want to be a part of it all and will, are willing to change themselves to fit into the expectations. Claim two regards how religions that are different from Christianity are looked at in different lights. Specifically, there have been many occurrences of, of poor opinions given to Jewish individuals. According to Becca Alfer, individuals who have experienced anti-Semitism have 180% 189% higher odds of agreeing that with the statement that they feel like an outsider due to being Jewish. All those who have experienced hatred, racism, and bigotry begin to feel slightly like an outsider even in their own skin. The chart from ABC News shows the drastic number difference between the percentage that are Christians and the percentage that, are, that are follow other religions. Considering majority of religious individuals follow this specific faith being Christianity, mainly look down on those who do not. My final claim states that the stigma against poor mental health. There is an idea that shows that those who are sick are crazy, delusional, dangerous, and dramatic, as opposed to simply not being 100% in their mind. Carla Lopez from the Journal of Religion and Health states, others point out that some seem to apply prejudice to themselves, which negatively affects their self-esteem and self-efficiency by limiting the possibility of um, contracting inaccurate stereotypes. When those struggling begin to hear the thoughts that other ha others have towards them, they begin to believe it themselves. The decline has been seen visible over the years and continues to be visible to all. Simone Biles, Simone Biles stated, I know, this, I know the nuance of courage, the part that requires looking at yourself and having this hard conversation. Being able to see that you are better than what the others see you to be puts, allows you to have strength, resilience, and the ability to look past the stereotypes that are given to one. In conclusion for all, though the wish to improve standards is there, sadly many do not wish to follow. The social outcasting towards the LGBTQ plus community worsens the already poor look on those involved and could possibly worsen the mental health of all included. Regarding religion, those who do not identify with Christianity are looked at in a different way due to the social standards by all religious individuals. Lastly, those suffering with poor mental health are also looked at differently due to the stigma that are placed on them regarding them as crazy individuals. 
All in all, the social standards set by society today have negatively affect all involved as it changes how they look at themselves, how others look at them, and how the world looks at them. Here's my work cited. Any questions? No applause, sorry. <laughs> all right, stay there, stay there. Uh, first question, can you tell me how your research question evolved as you worked your way through the process? Yeah, so originally my research question was regarding more being an outsider, um, but in the end, as you can see, it gravitated more towards the mental health effects as well as um, like self-confidence of level effects as opposed to specifically being like an outsider to um, others and like peers. Okay, um, and um, what advice would you have for other researchers who wanted to look into this topic in the future? Um, I would say to research more maybe like economy or economic differences so you could connect that back to mental health because those who sometimes experience worse men or less like that are less fortunate, their mental health worsens due to not being able to access things that they need to live their everyday lives.